let g be a group and fix little g in capital G. And we want to prove that this map phi is an automorphism solution, or rather proof. Let's start by proving it is a homomorphism. So one, claim phi is a homomorphism, homomorphism. So we'll take x, y, and g. So for all x, y, and g, let's look at phi of x times phi of y. Well, phi of x is simply gx, g inverse. So this is gx, g inverse. And phi of y is gy, g inverse. And the multiplication here is associative because we're in a group. So we can be a little bit abusive here and, and drop the parentheses. So g inverse times g is the identity. So we get gx, e, y, g inverse. And x times the identity is simply x. So this is g, x, y, g inverse. And this is precisely equal to phi of x, y. So we have that phi of x times phi of y is equal to phi of x, y. So this shows that phi is a homomorphism. So that part is done. Now we'll show it is one to one. So let's show phi is one to one. So two claim phi is one to one or injective. So let's start by supposing that phi of x is equal to the identity and we'll show that x must also be the identity. So suppose phi of x is equal to the identity element in G. So this means that gx, g inverse, is equal to the identity element. If we multiply both sides on the right by G, we get gx equal eg, and eg is simply g. So we have gx equals g. And then via cancellation or simply multiplying on the left by g inverse, we get that x is equal to the identity. So this shows that the kernel of phi is equal to the identity element. And so phi is one to one. So that part checks as well. The last part is to show that phi is on two. This part is a little bit more work. So claim phi is on two. So let me go on the side and rewrite what phi was. So phi of x takes x to the element gx, g inverse. Okay, so to show it's on two, we're gonna take some y and we want gx, g inverse to be equal to y. In other words, we want gx to be equal to yg. We can get that by multiplying on the right by g. In other words, we want x to be equal to g inverse yg. And we get that by multiplying on the left by g inverse. So take any little y in g, then the element, which we'll call x, g inverse yg, is also in G because G is closed under multiplication and under inverses, etc. And if we look at phi of X, well, that's equal to G X G inverse. But X is equal to G inverse Y G. And then we have the G inverse here. G G inverse, that's E. And we have Y and then G G inverse, that's E. E Y E is simply Y. So we took an element y in g, we found an element x in g, such that phi of x is equal to y. That's precisely what it means for phi to be onto, and so phi is onto. So we showed that phi was a homomorphism, we showed that it was one-to-one, -one, and we showed that it was onto. Therefore, phi is an isomorphism, but since phi maps g into g, we call those types of isomorphisms automorphisms. So phi is an automorphism. Um, that was kind of rushed, but I hope it made sense.